Hello there, and welcome back. Today, we have some ThinkPad repair to do on the Swap Meet Project series. It continues. So, this one here is a T61. You saw this in my initial video. And you also saw that it had a fan problem. It was very loud, and I figured out what the cause of that is. The heat sink is, I, I mean, the fan is like, it's damaged. It's not gonna be really fixable. Um, it's not like a bad bearing or anything. The fan spins just fine. The problem is that someone went in here in the past and took it all out, probably to like clean the fan or something like that, and they messed it up. And the way they messed it up is, oh, well, I'll show you. Let me get it out. All right, so, does not really want to spin very well. You can see here it's this two-piece thing, and you have this part here, which like comes out, and that's the fan. And uh, the mounting tabs are all like broken and snapped, and it's a weird design in the first place. So the fan just scrapes against this copper, and it does not work. So to solve that, I bought a new one. Um, I think it's used actually, definitely used, but. Supposedly, supposed to work. So, let's get out of the packaging and install it. Here's how this is supposed to look. Tabs there. The metal continues. There's a bit of oxidization on it, but I mean, it's copper. Just storing it in like humidity will probably cause that over 15 years. Is this the same model fan? It is not. This is a different revision, I think. And it's got more blades, and I'm, I'm not an expert on fans, but I think that's supposed to be, like, better. I don't know. Anyway, the other reason I suspect that someone screwed up the fan is the thermal paste looks fresher than it should, considering its age. So, yeah. And I'm also wondering, what the heck this is in this slot here because this looks like an SSD like an MSATA SSD but I mm, I'm not aware of a MSATA drives being in use in 2006 I'm not sure what this is it's Intel it's it's in the shape of a MSATA SSD, but everything's used that connector, like wireless cards, but this doesn't have any antennas on it, and the Wi-Fi card is over here. This may have a little tiny 16 or maybe 32 gig SSD in it. I know some ThinkPads did, but I wasn't aware of one from this long ago having one. I thought that was a thing more in the T4X0 series. All right, so in order to install this, we're gonna have to clean it first because there's some residual thermal paste. We'll reassemble and get this guy set up with an OS. This is going to be a dedicated Windows Vista laptop because I have plenty of laptops that are dual booted with Windows 7 and Vista, but none that are just on Vista. And this is a good enough candidate for that. I don't need another XP system or another Windows 7 system. And this is right in that spec that a dedicated Vista system makes sense. Let's clean the thermal paste. Now I want to see as well what graphics chip is on this uh, motherboard here. Because there is a chip here. And if you do not know, the T61s, they had two classes of graphics chips. They had an integrated option in the low end and then they had Nvidia something or others in the high end. Unfortunately, those Nvidia something or others are very unreliable. And I can tell this is an Intel chip. It's probably just the chipset. So that's all good. Nothing to worry about there. This does not have the unreliable NVIDIA graphics. Now the double-edged sword of that is that probably means this isn't a very high-end spec, which probably means it doesn't have a high-res screen in it, which is a bit of a shame because I do like myself a nice high-end screen, and I don't love 1280 by 800, which is the base option for one of these. This chip here, 
2.2 gigahertz. Um, it's gonna be a core two duo. There's a bit of thermal paste left around the chip, but all that matters is that the die is clean. And it is. The fan itself looks really clean. And even if it wasn't, Lord knows I'm not gonna mess with those awful mounting tabs because I do not wanna break another heat sink that took a week to ship and cost me 20 bucks. Arctic MX-5, perhaps a little overkill, but who cares? Once this tube is empty, I'll get MX-6. They just came out with that and it's replaced MX-5. It's a pretty big die. I wanna make sure I have enough. This one's even bigger. Hopefully that's good. Even though people say, if you show a uh, thermal paste application, you'll get a bunch of comments about how you use too much or too little. Um, I've never gotten any of those, so give me my first one. Tell me I did it all wrong, please. By all means, I'm asking you to. This thing alone is supposed to tension on the chipset. Fan spins without getting caught, good. The old one did not. My god, getting this thing back together, I hate working on these thing pads. They are, at least this T6X series, horrible. The worst. The hinge on this one's also incredibly stiff, like, break the plastic. I'm worried that that's gonna happen, levels of stiff. And like, my god, just everything just does not fit together well on these. I don't know why these have such a good reputation for being well built. It does not feel that way from working on them. I'm sure they're durable, but yeah. What's all this with the Intel management engine having to do this whole thing every time it starts? Come on. It's probably something to do with the fingerprint reader that this has. All right, I have a flash drive plugged in. We're seeing if it's gonna boot off that. Is it just trying to boot off the SSD that I put in here? Cause yeah, I put a 120 gig SSD. Let's tell it to boot off of this. It really has to do this every time. There we go. All right. I'm curious what resolution this screen is. I hope it, it's gonna be either 1280 by 800, 1680 by 1050, or 1920 by 1200. I'm hoping it's gonna be the middle option because I can see the pixels too well for this to be a 1080. I'm fine with anything as long as it isn't the low end. I'm gonna go ahead and put Ultimate X64 on here. Is it really gonna make me take this SSD out and completely initialize it on a different computer? Seriously. Oh my god. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'll be back once this is installed. All right, let's see the screen resolution. I'm booting a Linux live USB because I need to format the drive as MBR. <clears throat> and this is gonna tell me what the screen resolution is. Hey, 1680 by 1050. That is awesome, awesome. Alrighty, it is all set up and I've almost forgotten how much of a pain it was to get it to this point. I had to go up and boot a Linux USB to use Gparted because Windows just would not uh, like the drive in there until I had to completely reinitialize it. Anyway, here we go. Vista Ultimate, I need to activate it. I'll do that. Um, three gigs RAM, I thought I had two, so that's better than I thought. Yep, 2.2 gigahertz. I haven't done the useless experience index yet. Uh, one cool thing though is that this ThinkPad actually has the optional uh, fingerprint reader and I went ahead and set it up and I like how it pretty well integrates with the Vista UI instead of doing its own thing and uh, it works in fact it works a lot more consistently than the HP one um, that I used years ago on an HP laptop that I have not been able to set up since because I have not been able to find the right software again ever since I wiped the drive I've, I've looked far and wide to see if I can try to find it but I can't so I had a very similar thing where it integrated in. Let me see, if I just swipe my finger... Yeah, it's not the same one, because on the other one, whenever I would... When on the HP, whenever I would touch the fingerprint reader, it would pop up a little thing up here that said, like, you need to set up an option or whatever. Anyway, so far this one works a lot more reliably than that one did. 
Uh, but, uh, yeah, all set up, working. Uh, there's a few unknown devices left. Yeah, just, just a couple, you know. <laughs> but I've gotten all the important ones. So, yeah, biometric. Windows supported it out of the gate. Windows has their own built-in support for that. It doesn't just show up as some weird thing. Maybe the driver does that. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, pretty cool. So, it does not have the unreliable NVIDIA graphics. And I think overall this is a good balance um, because if I had found one with the 1920 by 1200 screen, that's obviously better than this one. But that one would almost certainly also be high-end enough to have the NVIDIA graphics, which are very unreliable. So this one's got the nice enough screen. It's not the terrible 1280 by 800 one. Um, it's got the fingerprint reader, which a lot, which was optional. And uh, yeah, it's got, and it's got upgrade potential too. I could always put the higher res screen in here if I wanted to, nothing stopping me from doing that. Could upgrade the RAM, put a higher capacity SSD in here, upgrade the CPU. That is the good thing about these ThinkPads. You can do just about anything to them. Uh, but I'm not motivated to do any of that because taking this thing apart is a big pain and I hate how, how everything fits together. It's really clunky and hard to get. I still feel like the... I still feel like the bezel here is not clicked down all the way in certain spots. I'm just not a fan of how you open these up. But I know a lot of other people do like the repairability of these. And I agree, they're repairable. It's just not very fun to get there. But what are you going to do? Uh, well, I'm going to use this thing and hope that the hinges don't explode themselves because they are just uh, ridiculous. You hear that? Well, first of all, this gets caught, which is lovely because this doesn't click down. Over here. But it's just so stiff. I don't know how it's this stiff. But... Yeah, uh, I will just hope that the plastics don't explode, and, uh, yeah. Hopefully, I think these have, like, the roll cage in them, or whatever, which is, like, metal. So I hope that the hinge, the hinge is affixed to that, so it won't break. Um, guess we'll see, but, yeah. Nice to have this one set up and successful, and I paid, I think, five bucks for it, so I can't really complain about a stiff hinge and some other issues, because I did get a reasonably high-end one. Which is nice, so, yeah. With that, I'll see you next time. Have a good day. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.